Assalamun alaikum habibis, my bros, uh, and of course my respected sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, I hope all of you are doing well, and most importantly, I hope y'all are ready for episode 6 of hashtag LNT tonight. Uh, it's an episode uh, where we get to talk about some of the mental disorders that a lot of people around the world uh, face if you have a family member or a friend uh, or you yourself are um, suffering from a mental disorder hopefully tonight's episode and do stay tuned keep watching tonight's episode uh, because you might get uh, relieved inshallah after hashtag LNT because you know hashtag LNT is the solution to any problem of course presented and hosted by yours truly the one and only Ahmed Ali now as I said, episode six, but before we jump into tonight's episode, let's go and check out what's trending for tonight. So let's do that. Once again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, we are live from the holy city of Karbala and uh, your show, your favorite show, hashtag LNT, the late night talk is back. Now, the first item of what's trending today uh, we have the first female leader or the first female director of the CIA in the United States um, as she was sworn in today by the VP Mike Pence in presence of the, of course, the one and only uh, Donald Trump. Uh, now this is uh, this person, uh, Gina Haspel. Um, she has over 30 years of experience in that area. Uh, of intelligence <clears throat> as she was an intelligence officer herself now she does she did replace uh, the other uh, guy that ki got kicked out by uh, Donald Trump but anyways uh, good luck to her hopefully she she can do a better job anyways now uh, to all the friends who are living in Iran um, don't eat mushrooms wild mushrooms because uh, a poison has spread throughout Iran uh, and throughout 10 provinces more than 800 people have been poisoned by this poisonous mushroom uh, so the authorities are advising uh, the people to not eat mushrooms and just buy them as you know the packaged uh, mushrooms or the canned mushrooms and you know you know have a dessert with them I don't know what you do but anyways make big pizza anyways that's it for what's trending let's go and check out what today's topic is about Have you guys ever came across a time when you don't like feel, when you don't feel like doing anything, even sitting on a couch like a couch potato and watching TV? You know, you don't have the time. You don't have the mood. You're not in the mood to do anything. You feel like you ran out of energy. You're miserable. And sometimes, if you don't smoke, you just light up a cig. And if you do smoke, that pack is going through the whole night or that whole moment that you're in. Now your parents ask you what's going on or if you're on your friends what's going on, they see you um, you know, in, in, in a moody uh, situation. And you, you tell them, I don't know. You don't know what you're going through. You don't know how you're feeling uh, because you don't get to, un you're not understanding the mood that you are in. Now this horrible feeling is called depression. The depression of uh, the, the feeling of depression, which haunts you, uh, sometimes um, a, a regular individual may feel that, and it, it's it's different uh, from the change of mood uh, that people go through. Now, the depression is a common mental disorder worldwide, affecting more than 300 million people around the world. That's a huge number. The mental state or the mental um, illness of depression affects more than 300 million people around the world, especially um, when the long-lasting depression, if, if a person, God forbid, goes through that, uh, it, it depends on um, the severity. Uh, sometimes it can be very severe, which sometimes causes and sometimes reaches its peak where the individual who is affected by depression may lead him to actually committing suicide. Close to 800,000 people commit suicide up to to date. Every year, sorry, every year, more than 300,000 people commit suicide, which is the second causing death 
which is the second cause of death between the ages 15 to 29. Uh, and, 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 you know, I, I had to witness this uh, when I was in high school. Uh, the first time I witnessed uh, one, one of the girls that was in my class, she, she committed suicide. And another person during university, uh, which I've known, she also committed suicide as well. Um, and we'll get to talk about why or how uh, and, and, and the where's and the when's uh, later on. But inshallah, and, and whoever, if, if this does trigger any emotions, uh, we do uh, put a disclaimer out that um, inshallah, uh, we won't trigger anything. But although there are known effective treatments for this mental disorder, but only but less than 10 percent and in many countries less than 10 percent of those who are affected by um, depression are actually receiving that treatment now tonight we want to find out we have proposed a question for you guys we've posted it uh, on instagram on facebook to let you guys have the idea of tonight's question tonight's question is in three oh wow mashallah very nice why do we sometimes feel depressed i don't know why but because i'm talking about the topic i'm feeling depressed right now now uh the number to call us is plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six um that's the number to call at. and inshallah this uh, whatever i'm gonna say right now will make you feel a lot better. I'll give you a moment to write that down. The number will be shown again at the bottom right there. And the question, why do we sometimes feel depressed? Now, what I'm about to say right now may kick depression out of the window, may have you on your feet jumping, feeling happy again. Every night of Ramadan, I've been mentioning this earlier, but every night of Ramadan, you're going to get a chance to win a free trip to Karbala, to a free trip to this king behind me uh, and Imam Hussein, of course, uh, peace and blessings be upon them both, um, to come a free trip on our house. Uh, and there are many giveaways as well. Simply, what you have to do is participate in the show. Your names will be written down on these sticky notes and placed in this fishbowl right here for the final draw at the end of Ramadan, inshallah. Any Facebook comments, um, of course, phone call, voice message, message. Um, via WhatsApp as well, uh, as well, Minu, I don't know, as well. Um, so I talked a lot. Let's go and take a very short break. Once again, we do welcome everybody for joining us tonight, and hopefully, inshallah, everyone is having a beautiful night. Uh, but tonight is, is an episode. Um, uh, that really is necessary for those who um, are, are going through a mental, uh, this specifically this mental disorder, um, aka depression. Um, that we do have a series on our YouTube channel uh, with the Muslim counselor, so you can go uh, watch those episodes as uh, Sister Burak Hussain does talk about uh, this topic in depth. But for tonight, we are trying to find out why do we sometimes feel depressed? All of a sudden, a lot of people, you know, uh, they just feel depressed right away. They don't know what's going on. Um, and as I said, it's not the changing of mood. We just get that right away. Now, even though depression is a mental illness um, that will affect more than 10% of, of, of the world's population, um, it also affects the lives of many of those who uh, we know. I mean, one of the causes of depression um, or the main causes of depression are yet to be pinpointed. Now, physical and psychological factors appear as to be also one of the um, causes uh, of depression in adults, teens, and children as well. Now, there are several biological factors that are believed to contribute to this mental disorder known as depression. Um, but their exact mechanism are unclear. Now we'll get to talk about uh, some of them. Now there are three biological factors. Number one, there's the physical change to the brain. Now it's, it's when some part of the brain, the, the, of, of the depressed uh, brain, which shows less activity than the normal brain when um, stimulated. The other 
um, form or the other biological factor of depression that contribute to depression is the neurotransmitters. Um, and this, is, um, this has been proven by science as well, where the central uh, nervous system uh, is uh, disrupted um, in the serotonin and of course the uh, dopamine are thought to be the direct cause uh, of this mental disorder. Now the other one are the, her the hormones. Hormone change may also cause uh, a person to fall or to suffer from depression. Now, there are also some environmental, um, environmental uh, causes for depression as well. For me, I don't know why um, I, I, I've been more calm today. I think it's b because um, we, uh, I'm, I'm talking about depression, but honestly, honestly, I feel like my mood has been down a little bit today. Maybe because uh, it's, we're talking about depression. Maybe we can light up a little bit later on. But um, as I mentioned, there are c environmental causes uh, for depression. The first one is death of a loved one. A lot of people face this as well. When a loved one, your grandmother, may God forbid, may God forbid your mother, your father, or family member, or a very close friend, when they do pass away, when they die, um, you're in that mental state. Um, that you know what this person left us for good we're not going to see him those thoughts that run through your mind they result into depression that's why they say after three days you should try to move on although it's hard but you should try to move on because the constant thinking of that individual's passing away may lead you uh, to having a depression and a lot of people they're so attached to the loved ones um, that after the loved one dies, they fall into the trap of depression. The other environmental cause of depression is loss of a job. And we see this um, many of the times we, th we see men falling into this, as we'll get to talk about later on as well. Uh, because we find that not uh, when, when a man or a woman sometimes, or a lot of times, when a man loses his job, or like right there, um, when, when he gets his resignation paper in the mail or when he's going into work and he sees the resignation paper on his desk, um, right there and then the man just loses control in his mind because he has a family to feed or he has rent to pay or he has um, car insurance. Um, so a lot of things do, goes, do go uh, and do run uh, into the man's mind or to the individual's mind when they lose their job which may result into depression. Now, we do have a call from Ali al Husseini from the USA. Assalamu alaikum, Ali, welcome to Hashtag Galantia. And tonight's question for you, why do we sometimes feel depressed? Assalamu alaikum wa I mean, if, uh, I think that question, if it was to be answered, it would solve all of our misery today. However, I feel like a lot of the reason as to why people do feel depressed is uh, a lack of attention, positive attention. Um, a lot of the lonely people, you see them, a lot of depressed people, you see them lonely. But mm -hmm. of course, there are exceptions to that. Um, for the most part, I feel like it's just usually, and coming from experience, you need someone there to speak with, to talk to, and you lack that comfort, that, um, that warmth. And so lending a hand would help that. But for the most part, a lot of people, it's just lack of um, comfort and lack of, of love, ultimately, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. That's uh, one, actually, one of the causes that we'll talk about later on is actually uh, not having a person to talk to uh, or some of the company a person might keep. Thank you very much, uh, Ali from the USA, for joining us tonight. Um, but some of the uh, uh, company that people keep or, or they stay in may actually lead them into depression because the thoughts the words that run through their uh, run through that group or that companionship, if you will, are not the best. Anyways, Ali Al Husseini from the USA, his name will be placed, inshallah, in the ball. Okay, thank you very much, Ali from the USA. Your name is written right here. Right here. There you go. I don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, inshallah, your name will be placed right there. Your name has went into uh, the bowl. Um, guys, 
if you want your name to be placed here and if you want to win a free trip to Karbala, all you have to do is pick up the phone, dial the number shown below, or open WhatsApp first, dial the number shown below, and inshallah you'll get a free chance to win um, a chance to win a free trip to Karbala and other giveaways. Hint, hint, other giveaways, many giveaways. However, let's go, let's go back to talk about uh, some of the environmental causes of depression. Another um, cause of depression is the financial and all the finances that a person goes through, the financial troubles. Uh, and this is actually very true because those who um, are in debt, especially those who graduate from university, graduate from college, um, they have a lot of debts uh, on their back. And this is one of the most important things to, to, to look at uh, because if a person graduates spending so many years in education, he leaves or, you know, if, if, if a person, may God forbid, goes into the business and fails, a lot of debt, there are financial troubles. When that happens, tax collection is going to be on your back. And in that moment that you're living in, depression will kick in because a lot of thoughts will come through your mind. This is when depression kicks in. Another one is the high stress situations that a lot of people face as well. Uh, you know, when you are under stress, um, the one thing that you need to think about is how you can get out of that stress. It's hard, but at the same time, people need to think about why that situation happened. If it happened because of a, something that we did, then face that situation. But if it happened because of a, you know, a, 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 as a consequence of, of a situation that you were in or someone else did something to you, then that stress level needs to decrease. There are meditation, you can pray. Um, a, a, a lot of ways, you can, you can go watch the Muslim counselor um, on YouTube and they will tell you a lot of ways how you can reduce the stress level. Uh, but we just have received a audio message from Oh, Batul once again from the USA. Now. Assalamu alaikum. This is Batul from the USA. Um, tonight's question is a really good one because lately everyone has been going through some type of depression mood. Nowadays, anything can cause anyone to go to a depression, whether it be a relationship problem, bullying, not having friends, finals, lol. Like I've been going through a depression mood because of my finals. Um, obstacles in life causes us to go through depression, but really it's up to us to fight it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Batul from the USA. Um, another, another reason or another cause that uh, might lead to depression are exams. Because uh, honestly, when I had to go through them, they were um, crazy hard. But Batul, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Your name is already in here, um, so I can't really place it again. Um, so once your name goes into this fishbowl, once um, during the live show or during Ramadan. Once again, thank you, Batul, for joining us tonight. Now, there are also um, other causes of depression that differentiate between male and the female. Th 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 they differ. Um, if, if you're a man, the causes may differ from um, a, a, a woman. Majority of the causes of depression for a man um, are job related and financial troubles and for a woman there are relationships relationship problems and a lot of women tend to sometime um, fall into the trap of depression after they break up or after they uh, get divorced um, so that's why they say always go to a counselor um, go to a psychotherapist that may help you in that situation. However, other causes of depression that appear um, to be gender related, so both genders may face them at the same time. Uh, sorry, um, not gender related, so not at the same time, so women and, and men differently. Um, pregnancy, 15% of women experiencing after pregnancy uh, depression, um, after delivery, um, depression and this is one of the causes um, that may lead to depression low testosterone levels also may lead to depression as well um, for, for, for men of course not for women uh, so just to throw that out um, menopause um, 
menopause also is one of the causes of depression. Um, the changes in hormones um, are thought also to be the causes of depression. And last, we get into the serious part, which is that things get to go and get to get more serious as um, a child grows up. If a child uh, suffers from depression when he is young or when she is young and the parents might think it's a change of mood and not do anything about it, the child might grow up to be fully depressed when he grows up or when she grows up. Now, one in five teenagers around the world suffer from depression and that's a huge number. This is a serious problem because not every, you know, when, when they're a teenager, they might think or the parents might think or that teenager might think it's just a change of mood. Might think because, oh, you know what, because maybe a person said something to me in, at school that, you know, I'm, I'm feeling bad and tomorrow I'll feel good. Not knowing that the situation they're in might be um, uh, depression. So let's look at the symptoms of uh, some of uh, indications of depression. Now, number one, poor performance in school. That's um, key, uh, one of the key symptoms. Number two, withdrawal from friends and activities. Number three, sadness and hopelessness. Number four, lack of enthusiasm, energy, or motivation. Number five, energy and rage, uh, sorry, angry and rage. Number six, anger and rage. Number six, Indecision, lack of concentration, or forget, forgetfulness. Number seven, changes in eating or sleeping patterns. Number eight, substance abuse. And this is key because now a lot of teens, a lot of adults are resorting to medical marijuana, um, a.k.a. weed, um, for their depression, for their mental state. Um, if they're not relaxed, they go to... Um, they resort to, uh, to medical marijuana and so, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and the final one is uh, suicidal thoughts or actions, um, cutting of the wrist, um, you know, trying to hang yourself, um, you know, hurting yourself. Those um, are unnecessary, but if you are going through such a situation, you need to get help ASAP. So these are some of the symptoms um, of uh, depression. Now, how do you deal with this? This is very important for tonight. How do you deal with depression? We have gathered a few information and a few uh, points uh, for you guys um, as to why or how you should deal with depression. Try to make new friends. A lot of times when a person goes through depression, a lot of times it's, it's, it's because of the peer pressure or because of the groups, the, the friend group, especially teenagers, the group that they're in might not be the best group for you. So what you need to do is find new friends that lift your self-esteem, um, that make you feel better. Um, but we have just received a text message before we continue on to the other um, points to deal with depression. Who's the text message from? Fazi Moon from Trinidad, okay? Evil possessions can cause depression, also loneliness. Uh, thank you, let me just write that name. Fazi Noon, Fazi Moon, Fazi Moon Trinidad. Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, tonight. That's nice. Shout out to the family of Hashtag Galenti in Trinidad. Trinidad. Okay, Fazi Moon from Trinidad, your name is going into the bowl right here. All right, now, okay, now, uh, an another um, point or another way of how to deal with depression um, is participate in sports. Uh, try to search for another job if you're not satisfied or if you're feeling down with that job. Try to, do, to, to find another job. Play some sports right there. Play some soccer. Because that mental state that you're in when you're playing sports, you forget about it. And trust me when we say that. You forget about the mental state that you're in. But all you need is that motivation to get up 
and go play sports because that's key as well. Um, participate in school activities and hobbies and uh, you know, AKA participate in hashtag gal and Trust me, depression will go away. Now, uh, another way to deal with depression is join organizations that offer programs for teenagers, that offer, if you're a teenager, that offer programs uh, for young and old people. That's another way to actually deal with depression. Ask a trusted adult or a psychotherapist. And that's important as well. Now you can go on the internet and search where's the nearest psychotherapist close to you. Go seek their advice. Go, go get checked out. Go get checked up. Because really, you don't need to stay in that state because it's a very dangerous state to be in. Now, if the depression is serious and left untreated, as we mentioned before, we started from the basic symptom, which is the poor performance in school and jobs, up until suicidal thoughts. So if you're in those stages of between poor performance to suicidal thoughts, and you're not treating yourself or you're not getting yourself checked out, you might fall into a serious position of suicide. Uh, may God forbid that. And we, 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 don't, we don't need that in, in the family of hashtag get into here or for anyone out there. Now, some of the most common and effective ways to treat serious depression in adolescents are psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, interpersonal therapy, and medication. Try to take some medication. Um, I'm, I'm not going to give what kind of medication, but uh, you know, um, one of the ways is medication. Another way to deal with depression, um, and this has been tried out, listen to the recitation of the Quran. Um, there are specific verses and specific chapters within the Quran. Although the whole Quran is, is, is blessed and, and holy and it's good for you, but there are specific chapters within the Quran that calm you down, that calm your, your, your nervous system and calms your mood if you're angry. Um, do try to listen to the Quran as much as you can. And trust me when I say um, your, your mood will uh, get a lot better. And of course, watch hashtag guarantee. And if you just tuned in right now, we're talking about depression. Go check it out on YouTube. Your depression level will reduce a lot, 100%. And it works. Trust me when I say that, it works a lot. Now, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Hashtag Galanti. Hopefully tonight's episode was beneficial for you guys. Uh, we couldn't throw any around any, any jokes because this uh, topic is very serious. So we try to take it on a serious note. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Tune in tomorrow. We are live every night of Ramadan. Special Ramadan series. Every night at 2 p.m. 2 a.m. Sorry, Karbala time. That's 12 a.m. London time and 7 p.m. DC time. Once again, thank you very much. I'm Ahmed Ali. Have a good night.